I just want everybody to remember her kind heart and how she lived her life to the fullest. Mia Hansen met her friend, Madeline Trito, who she calls Addie, at a birthday party a few years ago. She says they just clicked. So we'd make baked goods. It was just the little things that really counted with her. Madeline died on Saturday. State police say the motorcycle she was a passenger on crossed the center lane on Route 118 in Dorchester while turning and hit an oncoming car. She was one of three people killed in separate motorcycle crashes this weekend. A 56-year-old riding in Greenville was killed after state police say he collided with a car turning left onto the highway. And in Albany, state police say a 51-year-old lost control of his bike on Route 12. The string of deaths upsetting for riders. It makes me want to sell my bike. It's terrifying. In New Hampshire, 19 motorcycle operators and one passenger have died so far this year. That's less than in 2023, but came before this weekend's crashes. The data, a reminder for some to follow the rules of the road. I mean, everyone, safety is important. It doesn't matter cars or bikes, but I think they also should pay more attention when, when they see bikes. But for others, it's a reminder of a loss. She might have passed very young, but her life still lives on forever. And we also spoke with the motorcycle operator training school today, and they say even though we're nearing fall, we shouldn't expect all the bikes to be put away. We've got to be mindful when driving. In the studio tonight, Imani Fleming, WMUR News 9.